So basically, I have chosen Zen Zone Zero, Zenless Zone Zero, which for some reason I keep calling it Zen Zone Zenless. Well, uh, that's my mistake. I don't know why I keep doing the name backwards, but that's how I do. Um, but anyway, this is the new game by MiHoYo. So this is their follow-up game after uh, what it was. It's not MiHoYo anymore. It's uh, Hoyo. It's MiHoYo Verse. Yeah. MiHoYo Verse. Yeah. Hoyo -verse. It's, it's Hoyo Verse <laughs> or whatever. But it's it's the same company, and this is their game that follows up after uh, Genshin Impact. So obviously the aesthetics are very very similar. Yeah. This one though has more of a sci-fi element to it, and kind of a cyberpunk fantasy mixture of things. You have uh, kind of wild characters that are you know animals. Uh, you have robots. You have demons. You have your lo your lollies, your furies. Yeah, you have all <laughs> these all these weird things. And the thing is, is the gameplay they haven't really released too much that I've seen that kind of explains what kind of game yeah. it is. I've heard they say it's an action RPG, but then all the trailers that I've seen so far all seem to kind of happen in one arena. So I don't know if there is an open world that you can explore or if it's more of a like a Senran Kagura kind of thing where you're dropped into a level, you fight through a bunch of, you know, kind of an Asimi Muso kind of thing. And then at the end, you fight some big boss. That might be a possibility. Uh, but because Genshin Impact, I mean, it's a solid game. And the fact that it's released for free is amazing that they've done that. that, they've done that. And I know it's one of those gotcha games, but if you're the, just the kind of person who wants to go through the story and you don't really care about in-game content, you just really want to play an RPG with the story, you don't need to pay for any of that because they will provide you with all the characters you need. Uh, they just don't provide you with all the characters you want. So... That's how they, you know, they rope you in with uh, a free, a free game, and then they say there's extra content, and if you want to do the extra content, that's where you need to pay. Uh, so it. it's, yeah, so it's, it's a pretty solid system. I, I think uh, games as a service, and I think uh, microtransactions can work if you do them right. I think League of Legends was probably the ones that got it the most right. I think that they did the best with it, and I think, uh, I think with Genshin Impact, I think it's a really good idea. I'm not a fan of Gacha just because of the randomness of it. If it was more like, oh, hey, you know, you can buy characters in the same way you could buy characters in, say, uh, League of Legends, then I would be 100%. This is perfect. This is exactly what I would want in a game where I can buy the ones I want. And I don't have to spend this money and get into this gambling thing. But I'm not quite sure how it's going to work in this game because in Genshin Impact, you have it's kind of about a team composition, right? And so you're you're jumping between characters and they're uh, using elements to kind of bounce off each other. In this mm -hmm. game, there's definitely teams, but teams seem to be of different sizes. So you have some teams that uh, they have three characters in this group and another team seem to show two people. So there's different groups. And I don't know if you're buying individual characters or if you're going to be buying groups of characters because they seem to play off of each other a bit so i'm not sure how that's going to work i'm not sure how open the world's going to be or how exploration is going to be but what we do know is that basically it's a futuristic world there's some event that goes down and you get these places called the hollows and hollows are kind of these dimensional bubbles and inside the hollows all sorts of things go weird some of the people that go into hollows uh, become corrupted and start to mutate and you also have monsters that are native to these hollows and you know the government basically goes in and clears them out but there are also treasure hunters who go in there to look for treasures and whatnot and that's basically what your characters are, are these treasure hunters going into these hollows and trying to you know, make money off of it, basically. So I don't know if uh, some of the characters are native to the Hollows or if some of them are mutations of people that went in and were corrupted by it. It's not quite clear. Uh, but I decided on this one because there were a lot of games that I was interested in, but uh, I have entered into the beta for this game and I'm trying to get in and uh, being able to share these on your socials increases your odds. So I chose this game. Uh, completely to assist my odds of getting into the game so that I can find out more and then I can tell you more about what it is. So, mm, that'd be nice. Yeah, so it does look interesting and I'm kind of, yeah, I really want to see if it's going to be more like exploration or if it's going to be more of 
uh, this game is just about action. So we'll see. Honestly, I really imagine the same, very similar system to Genshin Impact myself. Uh, and uh, when we were talking about Hollows, I was like, wait, didn't they see that in Warhammer when you get into the chaos? Isn't that the warp? And, yeah, in the, into the warp, yeah, and uh, you mutate inside the warp. And, and anyway. Yeah, but these are more like little good, bubble yeah. things. So that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's it's a good concept. Just, you do whatever you want with it, but uh, Hoyoverse and uh, this game is what uh, actually uh, sponsored the game, the, the Summer Game Fest. Oh, did they? It, it was, uh, yeah, sponsored by Hoyoverse, oh. which is why they had such a nice trailer and no gameplay. Ah, sure, well, some gameplay. gameplay. But like I said, the gameplay is is just showing Limited. combat. So it's it's kind of like how much of this game is just the combat? Is it, like mm -hmm. I said, it could be like a... I can't think of any other games that are like it other than Sunrun Kagura off the top of my head. But in, in those Do games... Do we have a release date? No, I don't think it does. Because yeah. uh, the beta hasn't even started yet. So what they're doing right now is if you... You can go to their webpage and you can uh, join their Twitter or follow their Twitter. And then when they tweet something, if you share it, uh, it increases your odds. And then they do little contest things and... Uh, and then they choose people every so often and then announce who they've added to uh, the beta and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so okay. hopefully we can get in, but uh, unfortunately, we're not the biggest podcast yet. So we'll see. Soon, keep listening to us and right. share. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, then let's finish on the game that I chose. Ah, uh, you, uh, you already put the pictures. There's no. So if you're listening, oh, no, wait, hang on, hang on. It's a surprise. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just that there were so many games. I was like, oh, I want to talk about this one. Oh, this one. Ah. Oh. And at the end, I chose to talk about Plague Tale 2 Requiem for several reasons. First of all, first of all, is because it's made by a French studio, and not only that, by a studio from Bordeaux, which is where I'm from. So woohoo! <laughs> Little French flag, yeah. And also because the first game, if you never played, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, of course, it happens in the southwest of France around Bordeaux, and you are back in the dark ages with the, you know the French and the uh, British army uh, fighting it off. It's of course very not. Uh, how could I say? It's not really clean, of course. Eh? And because of this, you may have a couple of rats problem. And, well, that's the name of the game, right? You have a big plague. <laughs> so you are playing with the Lady Amicia, which is a, a teenage girl, and she has to protect her little brother because her parents, there was a, a French knight, uh, father, I believe he died at the, begin at the very beginning of the game, and her mother would have uh, an important role. She's an alchemist, a self-taught alchemist, because she's trying to heal uh, the little brother of Amicia, Hugo, because he has a very strange, I think, uh, if I recall, like a uh, genetically inherited disease. Yeah. You're yeah. not sure if it's disease or curse. It's really it's weird. A, it's a genetic trait almost mm. it's yeah it's kind of seen as a curse but in a way it's also a gift but it's yeah. uh he has a certain genetic thing. yeah exactly so i don't want to spoil too much because before requiem i really really encourage you to play innocence was it uh play innocence, innocence was really good it was excellent uh, if you just want to know quickly how it plays um it's really an infiltration game right she, you uh, you're playing with a young girl. She can't face off knights, right? And in some part of the game, not most part, but some kind, you actually have your little brother hand in hand with you. So there's a lot of uh, not enigmas, but you have to use you know your brother to pass some place without alerting the guard. It's a lot of uh, you have to be sneaky to pass through. The rats are gonna play a big, you know, game. Uh, they have a, a big game to play in there, of course. And you finish with a good old corrupt Catholic, you know, because <laughs> flavor of the month and all. <laughs> uh, it's a very, very good game that you need to play. And again, it's uh, available on the on the game uh, X, uh, Xbox Live Game Pass. Oh my God, I can't even speak anymore. Xbox Game Pass. 
XCOM, as he said. And day one. Requiem, number two, day one. Again, uh, for 2022, they didn't say exactly which month, but they say that it will be released in 2022. And the kind of critic you knows that there was in the first game, it's, it's very dark, it's very dark, very somber. So they use almost always, you know, like shades of brown and dark, and uh, it's very little light. Uh, in this new game, we are, we are changing region, we are still in France, but we are going to the south of France, more like, say, Marseille, you know, if you can picture it in your head. So if you look at the trailer, there's way more sun and the blue skies, which is weird, you wouldn't have this in the first game, but there's still rats, <laughs> lots of them. Um, so just from the trailer with a bit of gameplay, but it's going to stay with the same gameplay as the first one, of course. But they, we continue the story of Amicia and Hugo, and I just can't wait to play it because it's going to be a bomb. Absolutely fantastic. I can already tell you that's going to be nice. So I recommend this game. I recommend to play the first one just before Requiem, just so the, the story is fresh in your mind. And you will see you won't regret it. 